When I was a Christian, I thought I'm a fairy tale legend. When I start being part of it, can you? No more to your tandas and no more to your zan. Econ in the Zokfaga Ugutu Kinuenza in temp because you cannot send a snake to me, then I just kneel down and pray. The snake is here to bite me, then I pray. The snake is here to bite my kids, and then I pray. No. I have to do something to protect my kids and I have to do something for the snake to go back to the owner or the snake dies. Whether you like it or not, life will teach you to be heartless. Because I'm here, I'm here. On couch. No one is ever ready to do an interview. Ever, 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 ever. No. Are you ever ready when you're about to interview people? When I'm about to interview them or when I'm about to be interviewed? Well, those, those two experiences are similar. When you're about to be interviewed and when you're about to interview, you're about to step into the microphone, people are watching you. Are you ever ready? I'm never ready to interview people. Yeah. But I'm always ready to be interviewed. Okay, cool. So for me, it becomes different because now when I'm about to interview a person, I get nervous and um, there are certain questions that people don't like. So, and then I ask myself, go to your new team. But when you interview me, I feel like there's more for me to say that people don't know. And in each and every interview, there's always different questions. How do you navigate uh, awkward questions? It's like you in, you're about to interview someone mm-hmm. and you know that there was an incident, maybe arrest, maybe whatever. That one, before G- Buzanje, I try to make you feel comfortable. If you watch my interviews, I always tell people how beautiful they are. I, you know, I compliment <laughs> them. I make them feel comfortable. <laughs> and then, you know. Why did you divorce Why, man, you know, you know, so I make you feel like a sister or a brother for you to be comfortable. Besides, I'm saying that so. Yeah, yeah, thank you very much for honoring this interview. I really appreciate it. You're thank kicking you. ass on YouTube. Thank uh, you. Gogo Scottian. Um, it's a weird name to be named Gogo Scottian. <laughs> Where does that come from? It comes from Edlozini uh, Lami. Uh, there's a process like Tua Ukachega. You know, when you have a problem, you have to go to the bank. No, no. Because I was not in trance when I, I was there. You know, I was a Christian, still a Christian. But it's angoma. I'll explain that. So man figure kobela wami. I was in trance man figure but binga kulum. So I was so constantly crying and constantly cry. so I was not understanding what was going on because I've never been to a sangoma before or a sangoma ceremony. Even though Ekaya big ne sangoma, but mina being attend anything because I was a Christian. So according to a Christianity, I was not allowed to attend or support them mm. at that time. So utema sang papa ma I masang papa ma I wanted to go back home. And something in me was like, relax, Uzuba, right? Because what I saw in Dumbin Kakobalami meeting and all that, it was what I used to dream about already. And when I wake up, I would say, the blood of Jesus, cast out demons, fire, <laughs> Holy Ghost, fire. I'd even say it seven times. Yeah. So, um, guess on 20, they'll pray for me. So, like, I'm a last question, there's a process, which is a bit secretive, but I can't just say it. And then, and then, so that's how I became Gokos. Because even my Kobela laughed. Huh? That's a weird name. That's why I'm into the one and only in South Africa, because I don't think there's any. Yeah, because there's a, there's a, it's like a revolution of young Gogos. Um, were fitting a certain aesthetic, especially women. Because Abu Koko Bakdala, they had a certain aesthetic. Uh, there was a little bit of maturity when you look at them as well. So I thought maybe uh, you just adopted a fly name for yourself. It's like a marketing thing. <laughs> no, no. Scotten is the name. Yeah, And the Mangi Landele, Scotten Abuja Minega Koko. It's my grandmother's Josie. Mm. Uh, so there was a person, Obegai, Hobo Beta, and Uxizaban, hence would see me having rituals for free, helping people. That's what he used to do. So I think Uzbiza, Ikamalaki Logs, Alexus Cotton, I think in Uzbiza, is Cotton because he had nowhere to go. 
Mm. Why is Cotton just as a starting? So now Wasung Nigalon, but his original name is not Wasquoten. Okay. Um it's Google's twenty fifth birthday. I did something interesting knowing that we were gonna have this conversation. So Google is turning twenty five years old today in which we are recording this interview, right? Oh, okay. And every personality um who is known by people has a following. There's actually five things uh, that people frequently search about them. So mm -hmm. with you there are five things that people frequently search about you. I wonder. The first one is, what did Maweni say about Gogos Koteni? Yeah. Um, I'll let you answer a couple of them if you want to. Okay. Uh, the second one is, what happened between Gogo Maweni and Skoteni? Okay. The third one is, did Gogos Koteni take a second husband? Okay. And then the fourth one is, how much is a consultation from Gogos Koteni? And then the fifth one is, what did you... Maweni say about Skoteni's kids. Oh, sorry. Uh, Maweni say about your kids as well. So those are the frequently most searched things about you whenever there's controversy. Yeah. Um, I'll show you now. It's on Google. Okay, uh, so this is what people usually say. They search about right. you. Maybe whenever there's some drama, they That's search. They so search. that those are the most searched things about you. So let's start with the first one. What did Maweni say about you? I don't want to talk about her. Mm. I'd rather not answer anything. It's me now. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Um, well, your fans, at least I did ask the question. Sorry, guys. And the, that's their the most frequently asked question. Okay. What did Maweni say about Skoteni? What happened between Oh, they the can go on my YouTube channel and, say, and, 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 and watch it. because They'll find answer. it in one of your episodes. Let yes. me ask another one. Did Gogo Skoteni take a second husband? No. I have one husband. I am sleeping with <laughs> one husband. <laughs> uh, both my kids... They belong to Monde Shange. Mm -hmm. We have two beautiful kids. Shout out to Monde. Oh, he's a loving husband. And um, the second husband is not in the picture. I've, yeah, yeah. That's a vague way to put it, though. The he's second not, husband is not in the picture. He's not in the picture. Is there a second husband? No. Okay, there's no second. There's no second husband. Okay, where do you think this comes from, though? Because I can, I'm going to go back to this thing. Because mm -hmm. uh, when you, so when you click on it, yeah. It will tell you whatever the news story is out there. But where do you think it, it came from? It comes from my show, Gumoja Love, that okay. I had, um, that I'm going to marry a second husband. It was a fun experience, you know. Um, if my husband would allow me to have a second husband, I think I would. It was really fun seeing him getting angry because because I hardly do anything to my husband. Me and my husband, <laughs> ne? <laughs> me and my husband, we've never fought about umjolo. Hey, when young cholela, yeah, when you're flat, hey, when no, 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 we don't mm. fight about such things. We fought about serious stuff, you know. So seeing him, man, give approach on national TV about a second husband, his expression. It was a bit of turn on. But uh, it will be a nice experience, but no. Okay, there There's you no go. Um, let me ask another last one in these questions that, I, that is neutral, has nothing to do with um, Ukoko Maweni. Okay. It asks, what tribe is Gogo Skoteni? And then the answer is like, her name is Patricia Tumi Mutsueni Shange, yes. popularly known as Gogo Skoteni from Mbandle and Tlempumalanga. Yeah. She's 28 years old, a Sangoma business sure. person. Yes. Um... I'm Sutu. I grew up knowing Gum Sutu. Um, my surname is Mutwening. Dlamini is the Dlozi name. Dlozi surname, sorry. So, funny enough, two weeks ago, I was told I'm Betty. There was a family meeting. They were telling us where we're from originally. So, my dad is Betty. So, we are originally from Bolimpopo, you mm. know, Rebomashilwane. I don't know, Betty. So, it's only now that I find out to my dad, Ubani. And my dad is from a Frankfurt, so obviously I grew up knowing Sibesu too, because Frankfurt is in the free states and we speak to too. And um, I'm from Mbalentle in Secunda, 285. Um, the thing is, Mina, when it comes to my origin, I've never really, really did isn't was a go back then. Mm. And it's only now man kala into yam from 2013 you know, full this is what I this is what I'm going to be. But not forgetting Guti, there's a difference between a sigo a calling no bizu. Bizu calling, right? So there's a difference between a sigo, sigo la la when you come gakon and a calling. So anything a shang and You having a calling, access sigo la sekai. 
So aksum teto. Isigo um teto as a kayak tua um kulunkulego wati la kaya kundo. Mm-hmm. Isigo la se kaya lelo. Now having a calling is a gift. It has nothing to do no mkulwako. It's not you that said la kaya guzo mani calling. Aksi isigo aksum teto wako aksum teto as again. So that's why again in mabatu ne calling and then you come up and you be like anga so shani kala ngaye. Because aksi isigo vele. It's a calling. That's why I'm calling. That's a religion. Now, having a calling, it's not a religion. Yeah, that's interesting. Those are very interesting concepts. Uh, just on the tribe part, though, like, what what, what did you, you Actually, another person who is Bedi but speaks Sutu is Khawkhe, our videographer. So the two of you <laughs> are both Bedis, but you have you don't know anything about Bedi. <laughs> no. uh, so what did that revelation do to you? Because I'm closer, right? Mm. And... There is no ambiguity. Where I come from, there is no ambiguity because it's not that cosmopolitan. The, mm-hmm. y- your neighbor is closer, the one to your left, one to your right, and everyone else is closer. It's in Cape Town. Uh, same with the Eastern Cape as well. Everyone is closer. I think the KZN as well, predominantly everyone is Zulu where you yeah. stay. So there's no ambiguity about what you are, mm-hmm. right? But then being told that you are something else, whereas you identified as something else previously, what does that do to you? Do you care for being petty? Do, do you have in, do you internalize it? Think about it. What does that really mean? Try to learn the language as well. Honestly, I don't care because I'm married now to a Zulu man, so I'm Zulu. I belong there. No. And my kids. <laughs> <laughs> Not you. Your kids, and your my kids, kids are Zulu. No, I belong there because my husband, and everything that I'm going to do is in Shang. Everything. Manju back to Angia Slaba, ni patili los la sekaya, lagashange, and so forth. So mina manjung pilong agashange bagwit. I see katkasin and nasekave no. If you can swear shange gunum sebenzi, nasekag num sebenzi yeah, gyanga shang. You have to yeah. We understand. So mina manje ni pilela u uguba ne lineage and wana bam kut bakulu wum tetwaga shang. Angwaz mm. nguzanum tetwam. But for me, finding out um, I was puzzled. Oh, we pedis. Oh, what do pedis do? It was not that deep because ekaya, okay, see how we kaya man to bazan, see how intaben. According to how we grew up, no gum cool. But um, cool one before he passed away, he he did a ceremony. What labing ko mwati? Isigola le kaya. Whoever wants to follow can follow, and whoever doesn't want to follow, anga cool because before they would get sick. Mama ga intaben ni banga in in. So sutus and pedis ama abafazi bayo wela. Interbeni, it's similar, but obviously, Gunezin doesn't have Zenzi as in Zuma paid. So, I'm not that behind because Benga Yenzi Vele Amasiko Lento Ikamga Manje Sek Melingens. If there's anything in Melingens in my paid then I'll do it. And I'm very much happy because Ekai they're planning to take us to where we originally come from and all that. Mm. I'm willing to learn, but not to live that life. Oh, yeah, because it's intrinsically linked to a personal identity. Yes. Although you do identify, you do accept the path that you've taken, that mm-hmm. and your children, of course, are rightfully from there, and now you belong there because yes. family. But there is a journey that's a personal journey that is um, linked with your personal identity. Which, what, yeah. I, what am I? Because you know, there's something strange about not being able to speak your even your 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 your, your own language. That uh, I, I don't know what happens to people, but I I do realize like if, if let's say that you are Zimbabwean and you find yourself in South Africa and you have to adapt to South African, mm. and in order to find acceptance to Abantu Basi Chozi, you have to speak Zulu, mm. or Abantu Basi Eastern Cape, you have to speak Kosa, mm. even though Somalians were speaking Kosa. I think that that has some sort of detrimental effect that if you go on for 10 years and eventually just speak Zulu fluently, once you forget that that is in you genetically, I think something happens to people in terms of their personal identity. Yeah, that's so true. I mean, manje, the reason why it's Mfunu Ukfunda is paid and where I come from. Um, we are about to do umembezo, you know, the traditional route. And obviously, Mazulu, so they come with umembezo in a Zulu way. Mm-hmm. So I think it will be important for me, Nasekaya Senze, according to a tradition, yet, not according to how we grew up, but according to is paid. So is paid, but I'm So I would want to get into Zami, Momteto, of who I am. Originally, and also as as in Jongo Bami Nangom Tana Wamatozi, I think Gubalegile because I always question myself. I have so many initiates, which is Amatwasa from Limpopo, 
and mm-hmm. Kosa. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so I said, okay, please don't surprise me and tell me somebody's Kosa or my mom is Kosa or something like that. Um, I, but if they could say my mom is Kosa, you, I'd believe it. Yeah, I'd believe. Does she speak it? No, she doesn't. She speaks Afrikaans and and Sutu. So the way you know, I believe Guti. She's Kosa because yo, my mom acts like Kosas, you know. So I've got experience. You won't get experience. I'm a Kosa but what I love about them, they are go getters. Everything they do, they do it hundred percent during our so. Well, all stereotypes are stereotypes, whether they're positive or negative. <laughs> I don't believe in them. You know, once you, you open know, the door for a positive stereotypes, you must accept the negative. Let ones. me tell you something about my class. I think out of 500 initiates that I've had in my life, 50% or 60% the way it causes. And every single time, magune conflict or magune temeling is sorted out. I'm a class. And they become family when they get there. You know? If when I'm a class, I'm a class, I'm a class, they make sure that they're a class, they're a class, they're a class, they're a class, you know? But, what I like, it's not because of them being negative, but they always aim for number one. Not in a negative way. Well, okay, there you are. Thank you for the compliment. <laughs> not in a negative way. <laughs> um, People feel intimidated by them because they are go-getters and about fun clue. It is a very difficult experience. Um, I'm so happy that by the time I got to Joburg, I sort of had a, an accomplished career mm. that I never really had to live in the townships. I come from the townships in Cape Town, so I've never, I've never had to navigate this thing of, okay, I now have to switch. Because the first thing you do, you have to switch your language oh, yes. when you get to the township. True. Either you speak Sutu or you speak Zulu, and you're like, for me, that's a big deal. That's why I'm, because I know it's about personal identity. This thing of you speak another person's language long enough, and then you have to ask yourself, are you one of them? Yeah, that's uh, true. You know, and, and it's, it's, it's in conflict with what you are. True. So I was very fortunate, but I do know that people, especially even Abandabanga um, and Tsonga, when they are in environments when there's no Tsongas, mm. which there aren't too many environments that where there are Tsongas, especially um, in the Gauteng province, mm-hmm. uh, they have to switch and, ch- and change the language. Do you, you speak know. other languages? Um, Zulu? I understand them. Oh. I, I, I understand okay. them and I can okay. speak Zulu fluently, really. Sutu, maybe 30 or 40%. Okay. And I always try as much as I can, to not shift into that, to not, I will, even in my house, will speak Kosa, for oh, example. You okay. know, because okay. it's, it is intrinsically linked with your personal identity. You mentioned something interesting about having initiates, and please tell us about that. What does that mean, really? And you said you've had over 500 initiates. Yeah. At, at, what, at what stage, Gubungoma, um, in your level of experience where you even are allowed to have initiates, people who are under you? Um... Okay, with me, when I first started, I had one initiate and initiate, it's a person that comes to you with their calling. Mm-hmm. They need help. They need guidance. Not that I'm at Lozua, Mundu, Agui, no, I don't have anybody's ancestors. Um, they are there for guidance. I'm at Lozua, but i for me to teach them. I'm at time for me to under to make them understand their dreams. For the for for me to make them understand their communication with their ancestors. Yeah. Also to teach them because I I will never teach you how to consult, but I can teach you how to listen to your ancestors for you to consult in a way that they tell you to. Because I'm not here to make you consult. This is not school. I'm not here to teach you ABC. You have ABC already. I'm here to make you understand how to align the ABC to a person. Mm. And you take them in a secluded area, I would imagine, like you have um, or where no. would you do this? Um, I, I have Indumba, right? Which is where my place of work. So I have initiates. They sleep there. They do everything there. We have days whereby today we do this, tomorrow we do that. And also we do Istunya. So I believe in prayer. I was born in that household, Yom Tanda. So you know, my granny was a bishop and my grandfather, they are the founders of Free Apostolic Church. So Istunya mean asisugi. So there's a Istunya, there's Ilozi. So it's a combination of all. So Ilozi blessed me with more kids. Uh, I, I call them kids because they are my kids. Some of them are older than me. Mm. The oldest and gang I'm twice is alone. Mama, she was 50. Fifty or sixty. Mom don't be. She was 55, I think, mm. you know. Um 
at the end of the day, Gimtata Njongo Mama, and when she's about to do other things, it was so difficult because Gimtata Njongo Mama, now when she speaks to me, she has to kneel down and all that. And I feel like, no, she shouldn't. And then, Laba Banyu, how are you good can I? Because, hey, hey, you know, almost. But what I liked about the journey of me and initiates is you learn. I've been Ukobela, which learned through my mistakes. I've learned um, how to treat people individually, you know, because remember when they come to me, they're old enough, you know, and you don't have to do that. Lana, you don't have to yeah. do that. So it, it becomes very challenging, but because of, I understand, Uguti, they are also human, and I make them understand. Good, I'm human, so I'm at some that relationship is that they must tell me when I'm wrong, and I know how to apologize. Mm. It's not good. To, I'm the bigger person. You came to me. No, 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 no. I give you space to. What, talk what's to the me. level of experience must you have then? Generally speaking, I'm sure there's nothing written down, but it doesn't go with experience. It goes with the blessing because now, experience you can have ten years experience as a kobel and still not do it right. Mm. So. When it comes to in in the there's no right way of doing it, but the right way is to start. So I can never say, hey, "I've been in this game for third years, and I know." No, not <laughs> not as Lozini, not as Ukobela. Yeah, because I've realized, you see, every day in this journey that I'm in, I learn. Um, there are quiet initiates. Umbo numtana kona dala now, when you've never heard her speak. Only when you talk to them. And Magase Kaya, two years later, Kana Zokjela, I'm a problem, Zach. Uh, psychologically, you must, as Ukwabela, my advice is psychologically, you must always be healthy mentally. Yeah. Because these people, they don't only come to you you need to be their mother you need to be their mentor they look up to you 24 7 because they are with you. You are their new home. They belong to you. Some they were raped, they couldn't say it, Ekaya. Now that they're here, it's like therapy. Now they need to cough it out and you're the first person that they're going to tell. They haven't told their partners if they're married. They haven't told anybody. And their parents will be surprised because they are friends with their parents, but I'll be the first person to know. And they'll even beg me not to tell their parents. I've got secrets. So you must be able to keep a secret and you must be able to comfort. So maybe a snake. Some people will be like, ah, they do not know where these kids come from. Mm. And they do not know the baggage. So when they see me, I'm their last hope. Are there any aspects of the work, particularly this one that we're talking about, where you've picked up Uguti Lana Agunas Pew, Aguna mental illness? Oh my gosh, I wish I could play a verse note I sent yesterday. I told one of them, I didn't even say I didn't say the name on the voice note. So I yeah. I wish I could play it. I said, You don't have a calling. Stay home and go back to school. I've chased away so many of them that doesn't have a calling, that like me as a scotani, that see my work on TV and they're like, yo. Oh. Or they see my work on wherever on social media and like, yo, we like her. And then they start talking to me. But no initiate of mine have inboxed me and they came to me through inbox. And Tata Matwasak inboxed me. You know, if, if you are meant to come to me, you'll eventually get to me. How it was a combis good to feel and I've got kids about feeling about three AM Abazalbabo Baba Landele Mover as if Bashanya, you know, ba walk from a distance to my place and banga ki baba te baba kiveza mutweni umtanu ya pumtanu vuge was from them to my house and we've never met and we've never consulted. Is there is there a concern, like a genuine concern from yourself, Uguti? There's perhaps a thin line where people think that they're gifted marabayakula. Like, do you, is that a trend that you would have picked up over the years of working? Oh, yes. Hence, There's a mental illness problem, yeah, but they think that upiwa. Uh, yes. Um, I, I, I experienced that a lot. Out of 100% of the South African, 70% of them are not They don't have a calling. They don't have a calling. But now we're talking about a calling. Yeah, absolutely. So out of 100%, yeah, as South Africa, 70% of them are not calling. So whoever's watching this, man, you Because the shoe fits, you do not have a calling. So that's why this statement, it will bother you as a person. 
otwasile knowing very well you don't have a calling also you need to understand amadlo they communicate with people that communicate with them now maqala upahla you are inviting them into your life maqala uthatha ikhandlela uthatha impepho ulaida uthatha isine fm uthu yaphahla you are inviting them therefore they will answer you through dreams everybody dreams So you'll dream of a snake, you'll dream of water. Ancestors come in a form of animals because when they come in their form we become too scared because we ask mm. to come If you could stand here ubona umkhulu wakho lana uhleli so ngathi mhlambe you'll be like and then uzophuma baleke because we ask to umuntu oshonile. So they come to us to everybody in a form of 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 animals in a form of your clan like grab ako ena boma man they come to you in that form of a crocodile of a snake and then you go to a desperate sangoma who wants amatwasa and they will tell you that you have a gift because they want your money because apparently mauna amatwasa na you know you are big and we shoot you as a benza you know so that's what people will do desperate sangomas will say that to you but isangoma so it comes so actual ukuthi that was your answer from emadlozini you asked for purity you asked for money nye uhlala ungaphupha amanzi nye uhlala ungaphupha inyoka ingena emanzini now that is their sign answering ukuthi sikuzwile nesi sokuphendula it's not only dreams that will determine whether you have a calling or not lente isuke bencwaneni you are born with it i think it's a self perpetuating system then if you say that as big as or as high as 70% of them do not have a calling mm-hmm. but there are people who accept them as initiates i think it's con- it's going to continue being a self perpetuating system for as long as there are fees and there's money to be made i think it's an industry then you yeah. can call it an industry it is an industry it is because now um banenga abantu abathosile abangana madlozi and then they'll want to come to uh, us mhlambu thwase komunye umuntu then you would want to come to me and say angibona entombeni akukazi wabona when you have a calling ubona usekhaya ungakathwasi when you have a calling you constantly have danger vus nizibiza ama danger vus and its visions is not danger vus when you are a black person so you going to okobela work it's not something new you are not doing something new you are not there to take anything You are there to learn on how to listen to these danger vus. You are there to learn ukuthi mangi ne danger vu so what do I do? Cuz umuhlela umamtana edlo zinokuvuka my husband knows ukuthi there's somebody who's going to die. You know? Uh, the last time I won't say who and they did die I said someone famous is going to die. And I don't know how to address this. And I said to my husband I woke him up I said I don't want to say it because it will sound as if I'm looking for attention. But baby please let's wake up and pray. I, and then his question was so you can't do anything about it. I was like no I was shown that he's not he's going to die not that I must help him not to die. So you have these visions you can see these things before utwasa. If people who know me sakula they'll tell you I used to prophesy them before utwasa. A, a church they made me a lead year youth they made me a prophetess esontweni labazalwane because their gift was there i would see i saw amathosan amathosan engnawo manje they are not even close to what i saw ngisaso umzalwane if they remember esontweni i i i gave a testimony in church ngibatshela ukuthi i dreamed of 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 people with into a red and tlogo bagcoke so 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 and they were all kneeling emva kwami bang ba ba thoba because i didn't know yin logo before ngithi ba thoba bangishayela izandla esontweni bangithandazela so the life i'm living now it's not new it's not new to me but it's it's like wow na and those close to me they're like do you remember when i was saying this and this and that and look now it's happening mm. so people close to me they know my husband when he goes out he knows that if i say if he says ngisa u driver a town and then it's again don't go from a town come back home or uqhubeke ujavela pe a town don't go to a lokshini athwa ngito something might happen uzoshayisa something's going to happen uh, it's okay how uh, yazi masimasekezwe nge b abshayi ngabo 11 12 ebusuku mabavala lapha namajida bayakhotlisa ngithi fuck asivaye se lokshini uzobatsha ukuthi azi media misho so makaqa asivaye oh tricks and for your color tring tring i'm not going to answer because i know what happened motosha isile something happened so accent ukuthi you have to be endumbeni you have to be in trance to see things 
you must see them clearly. That shows good to eat laws in the con. So that's going to seventy percent of them. How do you deal with that as a as someone who sees an initiate without a gift? How do you turn them away? I tell them good to eat laws and for me. Law is all I was angry because she was insisting. She wanted to. Like she wanted to. And a man. So I I I told her in a rude way. It was my first time. But usually in Kalang Chorutai, it was like Kalvum like Kai. Oh, but take Oko Ung Popi Ling. It's yes, you can dream about me sometimes giving you solutions because I'm a healer. Well. But that does not necessarily mean Melus or Tosak mean. Because it's not everything that needs you to use umuti. Also, you need to know who you are and where you're from. Not every black person must use umuti. Not everybody must use umuti. You have to first understand again what's in coming up. Kuna bantu abanga sebenzi umuti. Kuna bantu abafigen dumbe niyama bati bazo shola. Magmele nglasha matambo. It was little no. Tata manzu shole lo mundo. Makmele nigeze mi ti los litu no nigeze lo munte swash. Abanya nzang chel gutu it los la kalvum gutu seven zisu mut. So nzok nigin te tis asandas asenze so. So you have to get umuntu who understands you as unkula gutu unkula gutu kamgabi. Maga shola abiza malo zwa unkula gutu na umtani unfungu azenda mazaki ni nantin. Not gutu meles jumpe and give you muti just because you came as angomen. No. Yeah, there's a. I think I can see that there's a thread. Um, as you telling a story that there's African spirituality and then there's Christianity as well. A yes. lot of people who watch, uh, especially YouTube content, uh, those who are with African spirituality are against, most of the time, Christianity. How do you reconcile those two constantly clashing worlds that you accept or you still hold on to your Christianity and you also accept African spirituality? I don't blame them. It's how they were taught. When I was a Christian, um, I was taught how isn't those a masigo they demonic, and um, anything you shouldn't do, right? Now it's what you grow up with. Hence, it took me time to 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 really understand my gift, and then now my is Honestly speaking, sangomas. Do not have anything bad to say about Christianity, but they are protecting themselves. They are always defensive. Now, why are they defensive? Because Christians have a lot to say about them. Hey, Nikonzo Munto Fili, are you Kalento? The Bible says, let the dead bury themselves. Hey, 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 you know, uh, this is, uh, it says, no gods besides, uh, besides the God that we serve. Now, nobody said ancestors are gods, you know? Christianity said they are gods. Tina Sita Madlos, a city, a city, they are our gods. Now, in order for, Tina, we understand, in order for us to, to communicate with Amadlos, we have to go to the greater person, which is God. Then there is our ancestors. That we understand. But Christians don't understand that there is God and ancestors. And it's okay. But we, Amadlos, Amadlos, when we come up, Kubangatis Bangis, Ama Christians, is into us, because Bangis, Abantabas, Nyonyo, Bela, Yipsugo. Because they come to us, if so. I do not have a problem with Christians, but now... I, so you're I, saying Christians, when no one is looking, they do consultations? Oh, I have a lot of Christians. I have I have thousands of pastors that I help for their churches to grow. So people must not blame... For example, they always make an example of the people who are living in the world. It's because the people who are living in the manipulate the people who are living in the and by tola play mood. By tola tina. So I've oh gosh, I have so many pastors that come to me and I do not blame them. Now Do you understand? Mm. So that's why I can see I they have so much to say to us, yet they need us. We don't have so much to say, it's just that we are defending ourselves. And I wish Abantana Bamatlose can stop answering them. I wish Abantana Bamatlose can understand Uguti in everything that Christians say about us, they also need knowledge about us because you know, we have knowledge about them. Most Sangomas, most Sangomas, most real Sangomas, that's where they started. And then because the calling, a calling, it led us to 
who we are today. Mm. If I was going to stick to Christianity. Believe in me, I was going to stick to Christianity. But because of calling him, I couldn't. There are moments where I feel like this is unreal. Is this really me? I'd always question. But I'd be like, I'd be like, I'd be like, I consulted and the things that I said, how did I know them? I always ask myself, isn't this what I'm mm. Until this day, I don't get used to this gift. It's surprising me every day. No, 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 no. Because it surprises me every day. I'll tell you your name, I'll tell you your age, I'll tell you where you come from, I'll tell you when I'll tell you the day and then I'll surprise myself more. There was a time in Kalukban Guti, Idlos Lomuni Muntula Kona Kul Makmin. There was a white man who came as a consultant. And I'm consultor, so I had I had a uh, um a twice Africans, so I'm consultant they no kulumana be Africans. And that time, um so I'm doing so I let them consult because that's how they learn. I was heavily pregnant. So nyazo man gutu lumuntong ale ukuluma ilangwe check na see your nizulu or anything like that. So I call one of them, I'm a twas and I'm like, who are you consulting? But oh munyum lung. It's okay. Something is off, I'm coming. Mang figa. Nyambega and then Kovelukwa Vuku Kokwa Kegim. Ukokwa ke I'm not fluent in Africans. Kokwa Kovilo Kuluma na Africans. Then I asked for a istulo S Rokai. So basically because Ukokwa ke why shall I go to Stulo? And I started asking for inner lead and and it will look tunga, you know? And Aunt Anabam, they were surprised. And then I started just sitting in an on a normal chair. And then I, I started communicating. That was my first time knowing what this can happen to me. And then after that, it doesn't happen every time. After that, it happened once in a while. So I can count in this 10 years, I think it happened five times mm -hmm. that you. Yeah, there's something interesting that you mentioned about pastors consulting. As no ibis bagu tuala londo, like so there are people abanam abanam abanda amakulu abatuale. Could we not interpret that as uktuala? No, I'd not say pastors by tuala. They boost what they have. They do have a gift of ministering, but they need people good bang in the it's a sacrifice. Blood need to be shed mm. in order for you to utwele because usuga utata in taking a see So pastors are tata in taking a see your name. but they don't want to accept good tillos liba or unkulukuluba place with five members of the church. They mm. want times hundred. So upustan jison to signages is into we are lighter la pe. We are Kazangazo, we are Pepetangazo, Ubiza my client, Ubiza my members, and then they come to you. Yeah, there are multiple ways in which this could go. I suppose there is Gukonupiwa Gobumnyam, the way you can help people, Benzo Bumnyam, and then Konupiwa Gugnatabandu, like heal them yeah. um, as well. What's your thoughts on that? Just unpack that for us because I'm sure there are people. So you could be consulted by someone who wants to murder for mm -hmm. example. Mm -hmm. And that's darkness. That's We are now venturing into the realm of darkness, right? Mm. Um, but you have your own personal principles. But um, mm -hmm. uh, as you are there in front of you, uh, talk to us about examples of what people would want you to do, um, for example, and whether or not your personal principles allows uh, for you to help them. Or, I would turn people away. If they want that help, you give that help. Honestly, I'd be sure. lying. I'd be lying if I say that. Um, I used to have my first dark thing that I did. Um, I had a client from Joburg while I was staying in Berlin. And Wafiga was 6 6 and he was like, Koko Minanginkab, And Inyanga um, Yamisishonil. And I was not famous. Nobody knew me. Am I famous? Okay, cool. But anyway, <laughs> nobody knew me at that time. <laughs> at that time, yeah. You yeah, didn't have a public profile. No, I still had umkukunya na wa mi wendo umba to consult. And I remember I had two initiates at that time. And he said, 
So ngibula labantu bane abakhulu. Mm. And ngiyazivikela nami umsebenzi wami webapa lo. So kune ento engethe kuwena. Ngithi ufuna nathi ngifuna ungivikela ukuthi manje ubulala lo umuntu. Angangipokeli futhi ngingavelelwa yinkinga nami. Inyanga yami being siza kanjalo asho njalo. Um, kanda lazula because it was my first time. Mm-hmm. You know, we hear these stories, but it was my first time. Given it like this also. Nga lasa matambo. Kala, to check uti. Nga boza boko kutu na moza lo mtu tin. Usho ganje ganje so. Can I help? Nga lasa matambo. Oh, wavum. Ata, ha? Nga pega ya matu hasa wami. Bewa itu, nga wapega. Nga pega lo puti. Be mfunu kuti I can't help but nakuvuma ithambo ayi so be it then i helped him dobuti lo ya izinto zakhe bekumele sizenze bekumele sizenze ntathakusa all the time so he would drive from joburg kafiye ke ngabo 2 weeks in 3 o'clock sasebenza sebenza umzimba wakhe senzana you know he he came for more than 6 months nini na vela the koko kuphi you know amazulu akhulu manjani ngithi ngizendlela tho okay ayi ngithi nje ngizokushela iphasela yadlula tan 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 and just for fun nangi gezi mali adlule ha koko hey kune take is azodlula lapho uthatha mali that that's how he used to do it angimazi ukuthi waphelela yaphi though but he did that for like 6 months constantly and ube right and he loved his service at that time and then ukuthi ngimsebenze ngomuthu onjani i was told by amadlosi because it was my first client and ukobela amazanga ngifundise into enjalo yeah and and at, you felt at the time that because it am a amathamba yavuma Mm. Uh, that you you don't have you, morally you not you don't have the inclination to say no to that you would know yes. no yes um i wanted to say no now i told my dad the story they man has in figure it like tell so na imagine client lamna nani man my dad was like um ubani manje ukutyelela emithi omelu isebenzi and ibe ku imithi yesuthu you know cuz most of imithi emafakade nana na imithi yesizulu bekho imithi yesuthu i had to look for lo muthu lo and my dad was like you know what i'll tell you some other time then after some time mongjal go to no umkhulu wakho kumukubo like la uqhama kakhona eh wayinyanga elapha inkosi idala so obviously kwakunokubulalana ukuthi inkosi yakuphi yobulala kuphi yenzani ithumela abantu so why lapha lokho kuphela why ngalaphi abantu why lapha nje inkosi bani makoya ubulala bani bani so wathi kushuthu uyena ozile kimina to tell me lo muthu loyo i was like oh i was asking myself ukuthi imithi yesuthu njani cuz ngifunda izulu nje imithi yakhona engiyazi yose once my first 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 time ngiyazi imithi enjalo yeah so over the years given your experience now um do you have i suppose you under it's 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 a gift that you have it's a mm-hmm. calling uh, there is a level of not being able to control your des- your or even your own destiny True. um to some degree because you do say that sometimes the thing bothers you but it's in you uh, mm-hmm. whether you like it or not do you have then guidelines to yourself about which area you wouldn't venture towards so for example some people some women give birth to children and they see those little kids as burdens and mm-hmm. they want to get rid of them would you be able to help with that some people want to harm children or women uh, or women want to harm men like have you been able to formulate um, some thoughts you oh, know i wouldn't do this i wouldn't do that like as an what individual. i wouldn't do i wouldn't kill i wouldn't kill i've got people who would want to come and do abortion um in a traditional way i know how to do it but i wouldn't do it i would i would refer you to a clinic or to some healer that can assist you what i do i wouldn't do i wouldn't kill but i will help you protect yourself if we ingabi i didn't kill anybody umuntu amazanga ukunika ukuthi ubulale ngikunika ukuzivikela wena mawe ubulala that's what i wouldn't do and you separate yourself from that process yeah. that you helped facilitate this man to be able to be brave enough to go and kill yeah um when you're saying goma there's always something in you that separates you from the world now a person who would know this is my husband I'd just cry and and be emotional based on what i experience in dumbeni Sigumuntu afuna ukufaka umuntu isichutheni u question why 
ati umjwela ka bya ngiyatsa so a person needs to suffer because they think like this now and all, or they assumed you hate them or they feel you act smarter than them mm. there are people abanekito because of that today there are people abanekito because of their character of always being alone like being alone not really having friends and all that and your colleagues feel like hey long at we jail there are people who go to sangomas for such so utumi is a very humble and bubbly soul now uskoten is all about umsebenzi and also he helps people so now umangisendumbeni i have to put utumi aside na my feelings i can do my job mm. now it's two people so somehow somehow i'd fight with myself that no angifuna kuyenza into kanje ndiza zima uthi lithi yenza no so i i've never done into oh no i'm lying i can't say i've never done into ezongifaka enkinge and wow nangbu yo twaza i became ngathi friends yeah nginga sho uthi friends you know mabu yo twaza into qala nje uzochomana nabantu ebebeza bazokubona uthwasa noma obathole kagobela wakho noma obathole ebeza entwasweni akho something like that but uzochomana nezinye izangoma some somehow that's normal so ngachomana with these other two guys that came and slotted in komoya mangphumeka i don't know they were invited by gobela wam the things that these guys did the things that they taught me wow i didn't know there's that darkness in nyangin they taught me the deeper side of nyang they taught me the, they taught me the real witchcraft bro like witchcraft that today i think into protecting myself but it's witchcraft that when i think of doing it to somebody else there's no come back Could you, without mentioning names could you give us examples of how would that look like what would they this might get me into trouble try and navigate around the names because they would go them. to graves and they would look for certain people you know and and obviously when when they would get back i'd ask them go and then lana i learned to enter so so okay let me um explore this further just to for it to be clear they go to a grave site at night mm. they exhume dead bodies but what they do is they first check so it's like they look for a certain person Oof. so if by as ukuthi unkulu kushonile nunkulu kwaye so 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 you know and this is what they need from unkulu kunjoba bashonile kuna abantu abavuswayo ukuthi vuga uqhubeke uyangisebenzela because they know ukuthi isikhathi sakho siyincipe bekungakabi isikhathi ukuthi ushone so vuka wena usebenzele mina imali yakho lebo zoyenzisa phila must belong to me akusumkhova ngangene emkhovini awusumkhovu ngaleso sikhathi umkhovu umuntu in the physical form not ukuthi uvusa umuntu ngokwethambo lakhe and also they go to grave bafuna a certain part yethambo and also a certain part of your body but if um cover everything they do they have to do it to you usese umuntu ophilile abamenzi umuntu umkhovu seshonile there's um cover there's ukuthebula now umulele lapho uma seshonile baya kuthebula umkhovu bamenza saphele bamqokodela ngebhike kasaphila bamfaka imitha saphile bamncamula ilima saphile bamncamula indlela saphile bamncamula ini now that's um cover Now uktebula umuntu ukuvusa umoya womuntu now it's not the flesh anymore but the spirit that's why people have these experiences of seeing the, like umuntu oshonile bambone somewhere bambone somewhere and no 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 unga ungakhulu unga wari again nizobona ngathi nimncabile nizobona nje ngathi nimncabile but animncabanga so that's why sometimes and these people or oh, babona oh, sometimes be careful of who you meet and inoleza cuz they shrink try to understand why inoleza cuz they so when you meet this piece, this person because that's how they inoleza shrink phela they shrink kuba ne breeze nyana even though ke kune langa ku right the breeze ngathi umoya so then now those people think then konzakalana kube ngathi ubaleke umzimbe then you just try to ignore that never ignore such things mm. 
always understand what why mang bona umkulego wenyola zamzenza ka so try to find ukuthi umkulego ubani uyaphila na ikhaya kibo why you understand why ke wenza kala so especially people who move from home to the cities and they meet such sure. people you know cause and kulanga nabo labantu mhlangana emsebenzini so you know don't know what happened honestly speaking when i was a christian i thought i'm a fairy tale legend i thought i thought in this ngeko but when i start being part of it can you there are times where i just sit down and say i don't want to be a sangoma anymore because believe in me no munga tsuya tsandaza no munga tsuya nzani ikhona into ezokufaka ukuthi ugcine wenza intempi because you cannot send a snake to me then i just kneel down and pray the snake is here to bite me then i pray the snake is here to bite my kids and then i pray no i have to do something to protect my kids and i have to do something for the snake to go back to the owner or the snake dies and then amenye ke ngithule ngikubukele udlala ngam ungenza izinto ezi snacks or my family or anybody close to me that for that matter anybody i care for young tall so what um what i can say is whether you like it or not life will teach you to be heartless because of the situations that you face or what happens and the sangoma it's one of them they've tried so many times bang thumela ngamazulu what was i supposed to do i've got kids that look up to me i've got kids that i need to protect abazali bashiye abantwana babo nami and they trust me so i cannot say hey go tane ntanda say oh it's solo so it's back to sender it's back to sender and that makes me evil okay how much of what you are teaching is herbs too and where did you get your knowledge of herbs my knowledge of herbs it's through dreams i'll dream of something and then i'll write it down i've got a book it's 107 pages mm-hmm. uh what happens is on that book all my initiates have the book on that book ngizobhala isibeletho phezulu endeni ngizobhalela imitha ngaphansi elapha leso sibeletho ukuthi uhlanganise inananananan and going back to what you said earlier it's similar to this when you said izangoma zakudala you know zibe mdaka yes there's a, there's an aesthetic there's a look to izangoma zakudala exactly zakdala. because zakudala they had to go by uzikubela imithi yabo remember excel we have ukuya hambi ehlathini ufuna umuntu wenzani but now Uh, we are fortunate enough to go to ungafika uye fa umuthu wase fa daily latsengwa khona umuthu nomuthi ohamba uyogubha it's the same no muntu othengisa faka daily uhambile wayogubha nje ngawe so i don't need to look dirty i don't need to go the news gubela I mean if i can pay somebody to gubha for me what i want why not mm. Back in the days they didn't have that opportunity that we have now. Yeah, That's why was selling from, yeah, from the somebody forest. wasn't selling. So, umuntu um, kanze aqhoshe kuma TikTok, ah thina seyakupha. So, ah ngifuna ukupha mna ngifaka amazipho. So, ngizoqhasha usolomo no zohamba yokupha. I could put the very same thing with Kupil and then come sell it to me. Yeah, you mentioned something very interesting about because I want to understand where you learned it from. So you it's not that someone took you Nisanda when you were an initiate. No, 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 Kupil didn't. Okay, this no, is the honestly, tree for this. this no. Ukobela no. I'm didn't. Ukobela I'm ngifundisa imbiza. Yegazi. I could mention a few things, mm. you know, but the knowledge that I have now, it's through my dreams like it's ah, yini intaso. Then ngifone umbuzo ukuthi yini intaso. Uthola inkaka kamba but oh umuntu azathi angafuni ukutshela ukuthi wena uyazela bile into ikhulumayo ngisi ngiphuphile uphuphe wenzani ngayo ah ngiphuphe ngenza 1 2 oh i had this ubaba bathi umkhulu mahlafuna oh my he's always in pc he passed away you guys have interesting names <laughs> yeah yeah umkhulu mahlafuna he is from zim he he bekuyinyanga yami leya he passed away uh, this year early uh his cockles yeah you know he, he couldn't see he, he, was he was blind, blind. yeah oh. he was blind but when i walked in he was like uban lo ngithi him cool oh scotten you know um i took most of my knowledge from that man and before he passed away i took two of my kids that i trusted and i took them to him for him to teach them the knowledge that he taught me uh, he was the best He taught me every single thing I know today. Me he he taught me ukhlanganisa uh, in a different way. Now a week ago, not a week ago, so in Namang. 6 or 5 months back. Uh uh-uh, uh it was last year. 
um it was la figure la bega certain spices that i won't say i'm a camp and they said it's spices that we buy from the shop and they said umuntu osozo mlapha ngale spice lezi uhlanganise lezi uhlanganise mhm the guys so like did i tell you that no he buys was like ah then i wrote it down was like ma he buys guys so so ngilapha ngale spice manje and then lezi zinye spice they told me ukuthi ngizolapha inyawo isilonda bona ilonda esigubhekile ngizolapha ngaso and lezi zinye it was for imbiza nelonda semzimbeni ezingagubheka so it was different spices I won't say the remedy was I John Josh. Anyway, um the very same week ngaba nethwasana illness londa sincane nje so kusho sibeka lo kasi nwaya enyaweni sakubheka saba sikhulu. I was like is this a coincidence? Uthi ngipho pinte kanje then this happened. 2 yeah. weeks later I thwasa sele yakhala manje babe nyawo la kinketha. Seka phuza imbiza ezikhona wenze yonkinto lihala manje ngicinga libheka ngithi hi man. Hambe clinic. Mangifike endlini ingishayela into ukuthi umthumela kanjani lo muntu eclinic ekubeni uphupha into so. Ngimfo then that ukupha ngisa eclinic ngithi buya. I was still in Hiroshima. Maka buya ngithathe izinto ngihlanganise ngidile nenyawo. Waba right I was like what? I was like what? Through spices? So when I do rituals people that do the rituals they know it works and some people will be like ah Sango misla pa mama wandu and like ah oh, yes it's what i'm being taught and it works mm. what do you think about uh, ubungoma in general now because i think some of the bakona abantu abadala who shoot videos uh, um, berating your generation because of course there's the difference in the look ama kwela kudala they used to look a certain way you guys have public profiles personas you are reachable over social media as well you shoot videos and of course there are other aspects of it people shooting videos with snakes with mm. owls and stuff there's um showmanship a performance to it now mm. that makes people have an aversion to it to look at it and be like nah man this doesn't look like the thing that we've always known mm-hmm. yeah but so what would you say to that because you're part of the younger generation um and you also have a public persona and uh, older people have a lot to say about your your group of ubungoma um the, the younger generation the look Uh, look uh, i mean yeah. even the dress code they always criticize as well what do you say to that um we are being proud of who we are we are not oppressed like they were before they were oppressed in so many ways nothing is stopping us to embrace who we are nothing is stopping us to be proud of who we are and what they do not understand is what they couldn't have but if back then they had an iphone and free wifi Hmm. they're going to do the same thing that we currently do yeah. exactly so it's 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 not me criticizing them but it's me understanding that they will not understand because they couldn't get the opportunity that we currently have and a lot of people like saying uh Njoba Usho hey why are they posting these things are secret believe you me the secret part hasn't been really revealed umsamo ah uh, there's deeper things in samin Let's open me don't let's open the inside of him some now that's the secret. Let's open it to us so let's show people good to to us and Jan. Let's show people what what initiates go through on a daily basis. Those are secrets. What we post slogs get that slogs talk is in those slogs and Jan. That's not secretive. It's out there because you man to us so you come and see good thing and Jan. You are allowed to come. But there's secrets every young in that The, the society even social media doesn't know like people don't listen to ingoma zamadlozi when they say ukufa kwenyango ukufa kwekono they don't understand the songs and the songs like the songs explain what happens in unyangen the songs explain when you say ilanga lamlo ukufa people do not understand and it's what happens yili langa lakho ukufa they don't understand ukuthi Lengoma ikula it's not for fun. Asi ke ngoma ze fun edlo zini. Which fun songs do they have? We make them fun ngokugida nokushaya igubu but the the history if you listen to the lyrics they will tell you a deeper story of Obunyang. Mm. So people must not I always see even on TikTok people fighting about about hey why lona ashutha into kanje? Ukushutha ukuthi uphahlela kuphi it's not a secret. A secret yile into esemuva kokuphahla kwakho. A secret umtuntu wakho lo ongawuvuli in public going to the river it's not a secret 
Showing people good to need cleansing, it's not a secret. We can take a picture of that. Showing people good to you need is straight to sister na 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 no patla. It's not a secret. Anybody can do it. Not the secret. It's what in, what's inside a man's in that we don't even take pictures of. That doesn't even show if or need. Are we born like a little nigga? Are we born like a little girl? Moi, isn't those of us come they'll forever be secretive? But people now act as if they are not secretive because but kabanguti yiko pe la kanti there's behind the scenes. Man, a man's in it. We born a man. Nangi zonke na a man's in it, you know. And you'll be like, why is Kotsana shoot as a man's in? Are we born? Then tangi born a man's in mean? Because you need a spiritual eye to see it. So that's the secret. <laughs> okay, there's thunder. If anyone cannot hear, there's thunder <laughs> coincidentally, like right at the same time. That's one of his phone. Okay, but here we are. <laughs> here we are. Um, is there, would you separate the. So there's people who uh, put out pamphlets. When you want your lost lover, um, whatever, if you want your prisoner to thrive, come to us. And then. Would you look at that as the same thing as something similar that you're doing, or is, and it's usually the foreign guys as well, mm. you know, Shang, you know, Baba Ban Ban, like those people. Would you look at it as people who belong into the same industry or the same line of work as you? Honestly, I do not blame people who market themselves. If the opportunity arises, take it, because Axi wongo umuntu ozo lashwa uwe oletwa itlos. Now. If Ilozi livala umnyango le carrier yam, and they say uzola pabantu, abati shalindo mbensi zoba le tabantu. Go out there and look for people because now this is now your carrier. Isinko asako, this is how you live. As long as you're doing it right, I don't see a problem. Mm. I don't see a problem with people going social media telling people that hey, I'm a consultant from eight to what, from seven to five. I don't see a problem. I don't see a problem about people handing out flyers. It's just that people think um, just because you do that, you're not a real Sangoma, but they don't have a problem with pastors saying, I'm having a crusade in Dawinazo. Why? What's the difference? Because now you pass that, who's like beggies and you're like tenders. Now I'm going to be like, I'm going to be like, Yeah. What's the impact of your work in your relationship? Monde was here. He's also here now. Uh, but he was, I spoke to him. Beautiful interview, really. I loved his life story. Um What's what are the worst aspects of it or the difficult aspects of your your vision, your calling, and how does it interfere with your marriage? Or how does it help sometimes your marriage? Yeah, okay. I'll start with how it affects. It affects sexually. Um that well, time... brave. I'm sorry to cut you. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I have the spindy to even to, to, to be with someone in your line of work. <laughs> you know what? He didn't know I'm a Sangoma when he asked me out. Oh, okay. He said he saw a picture of me wearing Impatla Zamatos and he thought I was just uh, wearing them for Mshampe or Heritage or for Fan sure. or something like that. Now, when we started talking, he noticed that, oh, she's a Sangoma. And that triggered him and made him feel like, boss or you know yeah. but at that time obviously i was not popular i didn't even have followers i just sure. had mutual friends on, on on facebook so the the difficult part is the sexual parts when i say the sexual parts there are times whereby i have to fast for like a month or three weeks or two weeks and i'm getting him in advance then I wake up. I'm on a fast. I'm on a fast. I'm on a fast. I'm on a fast. I'm on a You know? No prior notice. And notes. he wants to work. You know, <laughs> the, the boy is alive. And he's yeah. like, I'm on a fast. There are times where you just, you know, I'm on a fast. You know, I show a, 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 a bathroom. And I be like, should I continue with the fast or what? Told you to fasting in bed fast for whatever instruction I got, and then boom on social media, my followers and my are my sisters and my brothers, I take them as my own. Then I every time when I post something, I'd feel their heaviness. Good, these people are going through a lot, and I'll tell them, guys, let's fast. Now he doesn't have time 
to see me fully as 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 a wife and single like he's married to a person who's married to the nation mm -hmm. he's married to a person who's married to people so he knows because he's not allowed alone in my life obviously not sexually but aga I don't belong to him only. Mm. And there are sometimes man figen to be no tolguti. I promised him gutan I'm trying to break him figen to be no client that the cock sat and yazan zokes and leo fast leo leo cleanse in yake meling is the lay come back home. I'm like, uh babe, we can't. Um time be seen, I'm like good no moment of years or so. Then I have to initiate my kids. And I fast when I am about to initiate them. So, yeah, sexually, but smart too and jay, um, young, you know, it's non stop. I think, um, Panisha, look at you, um, Panga last week, um, Panga that other week. Let's not overshare. He's, he's, here. <laughs> he's a man, I'm a man, so yeah, I don't so, want to visualize it as well. Also, the difficult part is we constantly fighting about my initiates. Uh, sometimes he feel like it's not fair the way they treat me, the things that they do to me, me always trending about. Things that they say I did and I didn't do. Yeah. Then behind the scenes, they come back and apologize. Oh, my word. And uh, now the damage is done. You went to social media. You spoke a lot of things about me that didn't happen. I can um, imagine he wouldn't be happy if you we are called Like, if you forgive something. He hates that. Of course. I would I would too. Really? Yes, I'm a man. I have to protect you. He. That's you, what we you fight about. You allow them back to your life for them to harm you again. He hates that. That's no, what. That's, that's cool. what we fight about. I forgive all my initiates who do me wrong. Um, <sighs> there's so much that they did. Um, some would plot against him and 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 act as if he's cheating. Plot bras in his drawer mm -hmm. <laughs> while we were distance apart. Yeah. And those are the same people that I've forgiven. Mm. And he'd be like, these people wanted to ruin us. Some initiates of boys that would ask me out. And Well, you're a good looking woman. Thank you. So thank you very what much. Can we, what <laughs> and can we do? They'll use Umuti to separate me and him. They'll oh, use damn. the very same Muti that I teach them, they'll use it against us. So we were lucky that one of them one of them came and said, Hey, this is what we did to separate you guys. And Babona Skinile and us we 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 are not being apart. And these are the challenges that we face and it's an everyday thing. Just last week I was like, you know what? Fuck this whole thing. Stop twasis and stop everything. You've been saying yeah, stop last year, yeah, blah. I supported you. In 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 man you say stop this. You don't need this. I'm like, I also don't want it anymore. But hey, Zotin. So we, we constantly fight about it, honestly. And it's not nice because it brings a lot of tension. I don't want to lie to you. Mm -hmm. It brings a lot of tension. And the good part about it, it's when we are together with this initiates and it's fun. You know, we sing and we support each other. You think it's picked up in terms of, like, he, he, he's, he's gained so much experience that he knows these herbs now. Yeah, no. He knows. He would even even clients when they want me, they inbox him because he checks inboxes. They inbox yeah. him. So last time he was like, I might as well be your PA. How many people come to you that have inboxed me? You know. So abanya no kalela go ya yo I'm cool. This is my experience. Abanya couples who fight, they'll just inbox him. Uh, they're not in good times with their partners and they need me things like that. So he, he understands. Even in Twaso, Mang Twasisa, he's there. And he'll say, Imbuzle, yeah. So he's very active. Yeah. And when we first met, ah. Oh. Yeah, but he's very brave. Mondepra, like, you are brave. I, I don't know if I can do it. <laughs> well, I know that I wouldn't even try. Like, I want sex now. Nah. It's, and when are you fasting? Yeah, and him being the funky person that he is when it comes to sex, at times we get limited because our house is full. Mm with Bona, they come sometimes. And they be like, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, that's my favorite thing to do and, in my house. Yeah. Like in my house, I always do that. And when I don't mind, not just walk naked in front of them, he's a man, he uh, can't. Yeah, he can't do that. So he's like, I'm going to talk to him, sometimes, eh, I'm going to talk to him in the room. We are going to be here. So, yeah, we, we were limited, but as time goes by, he understood, and sometimes we're just alone. Sometimes we just, hey, let's go. We'll just book a hotel, sleep there, and just. Okay, have fun. let's talk about your YouTube channel. 
Um, thank you so much. We've spoken for over an hour. I really, really? appreciate it. <laughs> thank yeah. you. It's such, it just flew past. Uh, and me and I don't, I, I don't like three hour podcasts. Right? Yeah, no. Uh, we speak and then when uh, conversation is over, it's over. Yeah. But I really want to talk about your podcast. I think first thing I said to you when you walked in, in here is that your numbers are phenomenal. 350,000, over 350,000. Um, it's really, really going well for you. And I think... I think because I'm in this industry and I earn from this industry mm. that within the next 24 months, you would easily break that 1 million subscriber. And this thing, your life has already changed because you have a public personality, you and your husband. But I do think as well that this thing, will, whatever, however people knew you from Moja Love, that number, that number will exponentially grow mm. from your popularity on YouTube. Why did you do it? Um, how did you even find it within yourself to know that you can even ask people questions mm. and how did you drag him into it because he does <laughs> interviews as well and he yeah. has conversations as well talk to me about that whole journey of YouTube um, yeah I'm glad somebody asked that question I don't think I've ever been asked about yeah. that two years ago we sat down and he was like he that's his idea he was like you share so many videos on social media yeah. why not take them to YouTube I said, YouTube, how oh, wow. You know, ah, I know. No, I don't get it. Ah, my people are here on Facebook. Like, yeah. But you're not earning just, on Facebook. Yeah, just know what to share on Facebook. But most of the videos, in am like YouTube. Oh, we created a YouTube channel. And I, I shared a few videos, you know, and people were watching them. They were doing great. And then, stopped. I stopped. I continued with my Facebook, okay? You do an addiction. I continued with my Yeah, and then my Facebook. Facebook also is, um, what is this, user-friendly because you just take your phone, yeah. you click on live. You and communicate, are do you yeah. understand? After some time, no, last year again, we were, he was like, oh, I was supposed to manage on YouTube. What's going on? I was like, I don't know. He's He watches podcasts. Monday doesn't watch TV, hey? Yeah. He's into podcasts and he knows everybody in the podcast industry even overseas like monday that's him you wake up 4 a.m monday is watching a podcast so he said um do a podcast you know and then he made me watch one podcast of this other lady and then i fell in love with it and then he was she was being interviewed and then hype didn't even start the podcast mm. and then he came back again we looked for this things, mics, this uh -huh. whole shoot, all it that. must be professional. Yes. We were based in Harrismith at that time. Ah, we couldn't find the right elements. We couldn't find the right things. And work piled up. I was like, hey, this is not for me. We both gave up. We didn't even shoot one episode of a podcast. This year, I'm like, you know what? I want to do a podcast. How? We're in a food. So from going to podcast. I'm not saying to get signed. Two years ago, I'm not into it. I was like, yeah. What's okay? What's your vision? I'm like, I want to interview pastors. I want to interview San Gomez. I want to interview. I wanted to be a conversation on Christianity, and Ubungoma. Yeah. That was the vision of my podcast. He said, okay, that's all. He didn't give me that thing that he gave me two years ago. And then one point is clearly, I'm like. Fuck. I've been researching pod production team. No, 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 no. I'm I'm doing it. You know what he said? He said, nah. Ah, I'm a podcaster on my name. I give it a break. <laughs> so he was like, give it a break. Not now. Not in your hands. I think we even had a bit of uh, conflict, man, on that day. Not in your hands. Then we had a conflict. I was like, no, I don't want to believe in my dreams. How? You are here because of me. And that's true. I'm here because of my husband. I didn't know how to Korea. And he was like, it was during COVID times. I was like, but you consult people online, then Korea to them. So my career, I had it, but I didn't have the input. I didn't have the drive. So he came with it. Mm -hmm. So Scott is a brand because of him. So Manchester said, Clash, yes, must manage twins in Toga, so in it will work for you. Yagela, my science, that's my man, quite a podcast. He was not around, he was in Harrisman. Shot my first episode, and then he saw it playing. And then, you know, it's very hard to please Monday. He was like, ah, 
Uzagangan. <laughs> and then second episode. Yeah. I'm craving. Uh, the first person I want to impress in everything I do, it's him first. Then I can have the confidence. I was like, ah. Then now we had to fight about him saying, you're interrupting guests. Oh, yeah. Stop interrupting guests. Yeah, so that's important. Like, it's so important to have a sounding board. Someone who, how does my voice sound like? How, yes. how do my opinions, how do I come across? No. You are he, so lucky to have someone who he just, watches it. That time charges. I didn't see, I was like, I was angry. Oh. Because I thought he's not supporting me. He's just looking at the negative things. So I was angry. I was like, he do bigger, why you congratulate Wusi Nikale e podcast? That's all you look at. And now we're arguing about that. Yes, the podcast is there. Now he's watching the podcast, he's not happy about my interviewing skills. Why is it so? Why is it so? You see, you know, you support in a second. Hundreds of hours of podcasts. Exactly. So he's an expert. He's expecting perfection. That's me. Yeah, we're not from the perfection. Then we <laughs> moved from there. <laughs> we we moved from there. Now I started interviewing because I started interviewing people I know. Now the podcast the is moving. Your circle. Yeah, the podcast is moving. Now he see what he from what he rated, he rated me ten percent. Now from what he rated, go fifteen yeah, and about sixty. He's not coming back to me and saying, Ah, man, man, is cock. Saying I'm landing it. Then how did that interview go? Yeah. He's like, it went well. Why don't you post me? Like, ah. So I said, I'm going to But the comments are positive. So that's how it started, and then. And then we, we sat down because from the first time it was his idea to do the podcast and we sat down and he was like, let's do it together where we do reviews and whatnot. And then yeah. he started being part of it. So he's behind the the venting podcast. The name, no, but the brand, he's, behi- he's behind it. He's behind the podcast being there mm-hmm. from the beginning. So Because if he did not come with that, up with that idea, even though he was now not supporting it but it was not going to happen i was not going to think about it because i never watched podcasts i keep podcasting before you understand besides the one that he introduced me to so yeah you'd even find that why don't you watch my podcast why are you watching other podcasts yeah maybe like i watched it why should i watch it in front of you realize like because you don't watch podcasts it is perhaps the reason why you don't see what's happening well i'm sure you see it now but Mm. To be able to do that, first few episodes to get a million people to watch. Next episode, 200,000, 300,000 people to watch. That's ridiculous numbers. That's international standard podcast numbers. Because generally mm. speaking, whenever I'm shooting an episode, I want 10,000 people to watch. Actually, mm. for my, that's my standard expectation. Whenever I shoot... Ask him what I want. What, do, what does she want? What's your expectation? 100. 1,000? Yeah. That's not normal. That's why but you've see. you've literally maintained that standard. But I if have. think about it this way, if you can get ten thousand people to watch you in an arena where you are performing as a concert, oh, that's a great number of people. Go. So ten thousand people <laughs> is a great number of people to watch. It's only when you've built it up over time that the ten thousand each one tells another one that becomes a hundred thousand or whatever. Okay, like, look, that's why I've been so sick. I've been so sick mentally. To, like I've been having anxiety. He was even hiding sleeping pills. He was he 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 he, he was hiding sleeping pills and 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 painkillers because that's my my thing to make me sleep. Mm. I, I can't sleep without these things. I can't sleep without painkillers. I can't sleep without sleeping tablets. So, um, when I upload an episode, I expect so much from it. When it reaches 10K, I'm like, ah, no, 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 no. Let's push, 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 push. And then it pushes to the number that I want. But the podcast thing, honestly speaking, it was not hard starting it. I get nervous when I'm about to interview a person because I've never interviewed anybody in my life. Yeah. And um, by people like him and my production team always making sure that I'm okay, I've got this. And I've got my own personal thing. Sometimes I'm emotional because of my son. It's just a lot, you yeah. know? And um, I think I did it because of them and also believing in myself. I am my own role model. Mm. I don't look up to anybody but myself because I've set standards. And to me, nothing is the limit. I can There's do anything two, I want. two things that are very important for all of us in this space um, that we need to be mindful of. the Whatever any other 
content creator is doing in terms of numbers, their performance of their podcast has nothing to do with the performance of yours. So you cannot use someone else's podcast as a benchmark True. to say just because uh, Smoo or Mac G or Penwell mm. is doing 100,000 that you need to get to that. Okay. Don't don't look at that. Yours Thank has you. already done well anyway, so it will never really average out to 10,000. You. Whenever you're there, um, is, I know that just people just like you, as Uko mm. they're going to be there. Um, but just because someone else's benchmark is a million for every episode and they reach that, does not mm. mean that should be your standard oh, yes. too. Oh, yes. You know? And secondly, um, it is TV is my baby. Mm. If I died tomorrow, that would have been my contribution to South Africa. Mm. Um, there is not a single province that doesn't know the existence of it. Mm. At least 100,000 people in each province know the existence of this football channel, especially if people watch football. Yes. Um, they know this. So there's millions of people who know it, um, who do adverts on television because mm. of it, you know. Um, but I've never looked at comments on a disc TV. Mm. Ever, 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 because I know what I'm delivering to them is most of the time offensive to them. They don't like what we're saying about their football clubs, for example. So I know that they... It's going to be negative. It's going to be negative reaction because we just watched a team, their team lost, and we have to say they played nonsense. Obviously. Because and they're not going to like it. They're that. not going to like it. So it would be... For me, I would be um, diving into depression if I were to follow what they say. The fact that they are always there for the last four years, mm -hmm. it means that they are fans. And the fact that we are able to earn, should television adverts sign these deals with people, it means that we're still relevant. We're doing something, yes, Super Sport. Uh, even yesterday, we're shooting some from Super Sport. They gave us this, there's a show called Pulse of the Nation uh, that mm -hmm. they do. It's like, the, it's similar to what they did with Shaka Elembe. Oh, yes. But this one is a football one. It's a history of football. Oh, that's so, nice. So we're shooting them on You're the You're having great deals, man. Yeah, Big up. Thank you. Big Thank up. you so much. So. What I'm saying is that I know that that thing is successful. Even though if you, if I were to ask you to go and read those comments, you would think we are the biggest failures in the world. Yeah. You know, so <laughs> as, a, as a content creator, it's very important not to care I read much. comments and Monday always They're going to negatively affect me. you. What, how, what, what, you what's, been your, what's been your relationship with those comments? How have they affected you? Honestly, they make me improve but now that you're saying it i've noticed that they make me doubt myself all the time absolutely now that you're saying it i think it's 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 it has been part of my depression or my anxiety that i've been feeling lately it adds to the stress it adds to the stress so yeah no thank you it, that's very important bro like to to not worry too much about that because if you think about it like how many of those people have picked up a camera in their lives no. and tried to do something. And they have so much to say. Yeah. Well. And on the podcast, I don't want to be seen as a Gokos person because you see people saying, invite Goko who who. You know, on the podcast, I'm me. And there are people, when I interview them, they were like, Bef before I interview, like, I'm like, oh, you can say bra, you can say, like, yeah. span to, you know, don't, I'm not formal. I don't want to be formal on the interview. Mm. Let me ask you one more thing about family, um, specifically your kids as well. Mm -hmm. What's your relationship with them? You've done a lot of things. You've done um, Moja Love in your family. Um, they had to be there shooting for long hours. Mm -hmm. You consult and help people, right? That means a lot of your time is spent with the things that you're pursuing. Yep. Um, how does that affect your kids? What's your relationship like with them? Um, I've got seven kids in total, ne? Seven children that came through your womb. No, seven kids, including my husband's kids. So they're, oh, my, okay. they're right. my kids. So when my husband came into my life, I had two kids, right? Sure. And when I came into his life, he had three kids. Okay. Right? And then we had two kids, which is in the marriage. So it's what they would call a blended family. Yes. And you all live in the same environment? No. Okay. His kids that he came with, they live with their mothers. My kid, one of them lives with me, the other one lives with the father, okay. with the grandmother, actually. So what happens is, um, I always say I have seven kids, and people are like, ah, why? And sometimes I don't explain. I feel like, yeah, they're mine. Mm -hmm. So I have a very good relationship with the kids that he came with and their mothers. 
we are they don't even the mothers don't even communicate with him they communicate with me if there's anything the kids sure. need and um he has a relationship with my kids but not their, their fathers. fathers yeah so our family structure is very strong although this is the advice I'd like to give people when you are married and their step kids and their stepfathers their stepmothers there'll always be conflicts but how you handle the conflicts will determine the relationship you are hoping for the family mm-hmm. there will be a kid that will feel less loved comparing themselves to a certain kid mm-hmm. and there are there are moments where by your partner will feel like you don't love your ki- his kids and there are moments will feel like i would feel like monde doesn't love my kid even though i know it is not true but now we want to compare all the time right what a 12 year old gets it's not what a 2 year old would get mm. a 2 year old I mean, would, and, and also would kiss i love kissing kids so you yeah. kiss those 12 month old more exactly. more than the exactly. my daughter is uh, she turned 11 Mm. The last time I kissed her was like maybe four years ago. She was cuter then yeah, than now. Um, uh, my my first born, I would see that sometimes it will hit her that I'm constantly kissing the younger one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and I feel like she's old, and that on its own mentally it 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 disturbs kids. But it's my responsibility and Monda's responsibility to to make sure that the foundation that you are creating amongst them, it's strong that. They don't need us to to make them feel like they are sisters or they are brothers. Mm-hmm. Now, without us, the love amongst them must continue. So it's something that we are still struggling as partners to understand that with or without him, I will love his kids eternally. With or without me, he will continue loving my kids. It's something that you as partners need to work on it's going to be a, a work it's not something that will come automatically no yeah. matter how in love you guys will be there are so many things that i will do that monde will feel like it's not fair why am i doing this with this kids that i came with why am i not doing this but even if in general you can be siblings but your parents will not do what they did to this one because you guys are not the same yeah you're generally different. even if generally, all of them even five if of all them of were them, coming from you yeah, from, from the two of you yes the, there will be there will be some disparity even all if the time. it's 10% yes but because now it's step kids it adds on mm-hmm. even myself i have brothers from the same womb with my i'm the only girl and it's two brothers sure. but there are moments where i feel like my mom loves my brother more Yes. So what more if it's a stepmother? Yeah. You understand? It's a bigger challenge. It's a bigger challenge. So it's challenges that we're facing with my husband, but it's not challenges that will make our love less or that will destroy our family. It's something that we grow with mm. and we will get better with time. Yeah. But one thing I know, our kids love each other. Um Do they love being on TV, were they on TV? Um what I can say is the negative comments affects them. Um they haven't shown us really but you'll hear when they chat guti hey mama uban mani uthenga you know oh, yeah. and I'm like shit no I have to explain but before it started what I love about my husband he's very close to all of our kids he's like they come to him when they want something not to me and he always question why want that abanke baksaba song it's ay bangsaba mokhona but maka hambile they come to me so banjalo so um one of them doesn't like tv she's very shy luandle is very shy <laughs> luandle is very shy um amahle minenhle liana they are very wild those can be on tv by tandy tv then there's nomonde she's shy she's on social media even on social media she doesn't post a lot she's very shy she's the first one she is very shy and lababanye they're still young so we are the one that that introduces them to social media. Mm-hmm. So our boy, our last born, we he's on social media because we believe his life is a testimony. So we want to bring hope because we've seen come premature words ukuthi banga kabo mama aba good depression because of what they see on a daily basis. So our mm-hmm. son is a living testimony. So not all our kids love being on TV, but some of them we don't post them 
on social media because what people don't understand, Monday's kids, banabo mamabo. Yes, and so they have to give consent. They have to give consent. So if I'm going to post no Monday or if I'm going to post Amat or if I'm going to post Luandle and with the trends that usually comes and the criticism that usually comes mm. on social media, they must feel free to be posted or their kids to be posted. Remember, I'm known for is in using doesn't get correct. Ah, we are lawyers cotton in in so these things affect Abantuana. So we are limited on on, on posting in gun, you know. Um but Mina no Monday when it comes to Uliana and 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 the little one, we agreed which we can post them. When it comes to Mina Ominetle and 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 Ubagiti, the the the, the fathers don't approve of social media because mm. Minetle's father is also on the public eye. So we feel like it's okay for us to protect Minetle. So it's what we agreed on. But a third person will be like, ah, but our post about Donna Bonke by a feature. No, our kids are not a secret. We're just protecting them. And it's an agreement we have is Abanya Bazad. Namboza, Uba Utle, see when I want. So I'll be my last question to you. Yeah. I asked him. I don't I can't remember his answer. <laughs> you know what did you say yes? I, I, you, when are you very diplomatic, but you yeah, don't you don't what know. What did you say, Vel? He found a way to navigate around it. <laughs> Honestly speaking, Monday's my husband, guys. And I can never encourage a person at least woman to like if me know me and you can please. And oh. when Monday came to me, he came because he loves me. Right? Oh, hello, please come. Sorry. I'm going to ask you something. Please. What? Um, because w- women have requests f- to, from people like you. You guys, um, women have their favorite things. Uh, yeah. So what would you like her to do for you if you were in a relationship? What would you like her to help you with yes. for your relationship? I think it's if he's cheating. Yeah. Something must not work. He must not even <laughs> cheat. <laughs> oh, that yes. It must. You know, they like saying, no, this happened. It was a mistake. I don't know how cheating is a mistake. So No, it's never a mistake. So, so you, would you go to her for that specifically? Not, not me. <laughs> not no, I'm asking I'm you just specifically. Saying it, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. But if you face that situation, would you come? I leave. I just, I, I cut off people. You leave because of cheating? Yeah, I do. I would not leave because of cheating. I'd rather mutti him and stop cheating. Because I call on a magic that you, you're like, this guy is resourceful. We can build a life together. Mm. Let me not leave because of this. Let me get help. Yeah. I don't know. I think it's maybe because I'm an introvert or something, but I just, I don't mind being on my own. You and I, I do things myself. If you can't do it for me, I do it myself. So I'm not going to depend on a man or anything. Ah, no, yo, no, 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 Mina, I'm, I'm in for a man. Ukogo, you can see she has a career, she has a profile. She's earning a lot of money yeah. from her from her profile, doing TV, doing YouTube. Yeah. So it's not, but she she realizes what she has yeah. in her. Like for me, I'm a resourceful man. Mm. A woman who leaves me, it's not a good idea. Would you leave your woman? I I wouldn't. I wouldn't do it, but I'm just saying for me as a guy who works mm-hmm. hard and earns, I would understand why she listens to me. Really. Thank you. Yeah, but because I'm, I'm not saying it's she must build. do it. I'm not saying she must do it, but, but it's to build. Um, would she rather be with a guy um, who's not resourceful? Um, mm-hmm. Mina, I have one child, for example, mm. with the same woman. She is 11 so years old. Yes. And then now, if that woman is, if in on the she must work on making sure that this doesn't leave me, the situation. Because this guy is, I've, she, I've never I hit her. Go. I've never hit her. Mina so Mina. Or something like that. I'm not saying that's right. I'm just saying I get no, Mina, it. I, Mina, I get Mina, it. honestly speaking, as much as they would say it's witchcraft, Monday came to me untanned already. Mina, I'm protecting my life, <laughs> my family. <laughs> we are happy. Oh, imagine thank, Liana thank you, without, Hello, thank you. Imagine Liana without Monday in the house. Yeah, but when, when, when Monday goes to, to, to town or to work, Liana can't cope in the house. She's wow. moody. But the minute oh, Monday walks in, she's happy. So I must lose that. Seeing my kids happy is the best feeling ever. Yeah. Even when we are not in, 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 in a good state. Kuba tense and lean. But if it's chubby, let's just want to go back. So imagine if Sankhala Niwa and Uliana Mela Vagash and Apa, Uliana, Omunia Sakakal, Utuliana, Gafun, Um Vagash, we're going to fight about stupid things. That's why I'm saying I see the. Pro, the, 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 the yeah, I mean, I'm going to say the, I'm like, the logic of it because. In the other, what, whichever one is going to sleep with someone else, unfortunately. Yes. That's how we are built. Mm. Now, would you rather just leave him because of that? Or would you say, hey, this nigga, he's very resourceful. These kids love him. 
He's never hit any of them. He's involved in their schooling. Mm -hmm. He's never hit me. We have a house and a home that he's contributed to. Mm. We're going to be millionaires if I stay with this guy. Just work with him then. We have, we'll, we have when I when I first met Umondo, we didn't have kids, yeah. but our first conversation was business. Our first conversations was visions, yeah. was dreams, was you understand? We we didn't we didn't communicate about earthly things. It was more of when we have kids. This is it's what he dreamed of and what I dreamed of when we first met. So if I was if Mond in my and on my side, if Mondo was not in my life, I was not going to be where I am. Mm. I was not going to achieve. Our first, every year, we have a goal to achieve. Our first biggest achievement was, was what? Buying a land? Yeah, it was buying uh, very Imagine that's a discussion thing. between the two of yeah. you. Yeah. And not every, you will not find every man being able to be that visionary. You see? So when I saw that, it was buying a land, a, a, a very big land in a very good area, a very expensive one, when we are like, we're going to build this here. Then we bought it and we saved for it and then we bought it. Now we moved, we bought property, we bought this way. So without him, I don't think some of my visions were going to be fulfilled. Mm. Particularly with, within the timeline. It might, maybe yeah. you would have delayed yourself I was gonna until delay 10 myself. years later. I was going to Instagram baby or something. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, thank you so much. I really enjoyed this conversation, man. Thank you. Thank you. And I thank wish you, you well with the, um, with the YouTube channel. You're kicking ass, bro. I'm just saying, <laughs> expect a million. Uh, based on how it's growing now. I receive it. Expect a million subscribers. <laughs> 12 to 24 months. <laughs> within the first it. year. Like... Three, uh, close to 400,000. You, yeah. you will close this year over 400,000. He said that. Yeah, yeah and because the rate at which it's going. But I'm giving you too much credit, yes? Why then? Not in our way, I mean. That's when we'll say, I mean. But anyway, he right, said that, and go. I was like, no. That was the episode. I hope you enjoyed <laughs> it. Thank you so much for joining us. Subscribe, like, and comment. Thank you for watching us.